Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Today's topic is, is it okay if I talk about my ex on the first date? Well, what do you talk about on the first date? This is a question I get from a lot of my clients because if they haven't been on the dating sites for a long time or they've been married for ages and they've just split up with somebody, they don't know what they're supposed to do because they've been in a relationship for all this time and things change out there. Who knows what to talk about anymore? What's taboo? What's okay? Well, the one thing you really truly want to stay away from is any negative discussion whatsoever. Even if you're on great terms with your ex and you spend time talking about them, you're taking away time from getting to know the person you're on the date with. And it also leads them to question, are you over that person? Are you over your ex? Because if you're talking negatively about them or even in a great light about them, you're spending energy on them. It's okay to answer a question. Yes, I was married. I've been divorced for five years. Something along those lines is fine because they want to know where you come from a little bit and you want to know where they come from. Always remember is when you're out meeting somebody new anywhere, whether it's at the gym, whether it's at a party with your friends, you don't want to talk about anything in a negative light. You want to put your energy into positive conversation and things that people remember you by. Because if you're out dating, you should be ready to date. And this is a mistake a lot of people make. They get out there too early and then they freak out or they get into a relationship really quickly and then they back off because they realize they haven't dealt with all the demons in their mind and all the stuff that happened in their last relationship and now they're taking it with them into this new scenario. Everybody needs to take time to emotionally detach from what happened during their breakup. So whether it's positive or negative, I really suggest that you don't talk about your ex unless they say to you, oh, so you're recently divorced. Yes, I was divorced a couple years ago. That's it. Quick conversation over, like you're not hiding anything, but you're not going to tell them every detail about what's going on because they're not your sounding board and you're not their sounding board. You're supposed to be moving on to a better place in your life, not rehashing what just happened. And that's so important because so many people don't even realize it and they get into this banter together on a first or second date and they're talking about what happened in, in their past relationship. So it becomes this almost like a therapy session with each other. But that's not good because you want to know a little bit but you don't need to know everything. It's too much information on the first few dates. Take the time to put some fun energy into the conversation. Talk about things that make you happy, things that, that you want to do in the future and ask them questions about what's going on with them and what, what are their interests, what are their hobbies, what would they like to do for their next vacation. Maybe it all sounds very trivial, but it's a lot better than spending time talking about your ex. Remember, they are your ex. They're not here for, for a major conversation anymore. You made your decision, you're no longer with them. So don't give, give so much power to that past part of your life. And I'm telling you, I know it sounds like, well, it's a given, why would you talk about your ex? But sometimes, you know, it just can't be helped. It comes up in the conversation. Especially if you were with somebody for 10 to 20 years, it's gonna come up about maybe something that you did together or you went on a trip and you really liked the trip where you were, your vacation, and then, well, who were you with? Well, I was with my ex. Well, that's okay. That's going to come up once in a while. But don't sit there having a major detailed conversation about the person they were, what didn't work, if they were horrible to you, all these things. You don't want to draw attention to that. Because if you want to move on and change up what didn't work the first time, then you have to say to yourself, okay, I've done this, I've dealt with it, and I'm moving forward. Don't keep bringing up the same conversations every time you're on a date. We all need to learn how to move on, and it's not easy for some of us. Some people, it takes longer. Maybe they don't have any experience in a breakup. Maybe it's the first one. 
So if you can sort of sense that when you're on a date with somebody, don't just blow them off because they're talking about their ex. Try and change the subject or gently say, you know what, why don't we make a pact tonight not to talk about our past relationships and just get to know each other. Because that's something that you want to stop and you want, because as I say, some people might not even know they're doing it especially if they haven't dated very much and they're not really aware of what they're doing. So if they're just really angry and they can't get past talking about their ex, pay attention to that. That's a really big red flag. And that's not something you want to take on because you've done your work. You're out dating, trying to find a partner that fits into your life. And you don't want to put energy into somebody that's angry and who's not ready to be dating and they're certainly not available because they're emotionally attached to their past relationship. Even if they've been broken up for two, three years and they're still angry about it, that's coming with you into your relationship if you would decide to share a, a, a connection with them. So be very, very wary of people who don't stop talking about them or they have a huge anger about them because those kind of things are just going to play out every day with your time with them because they haven't dealt with it. They haven't moved on and figured out how their life is going to be better outside of that relationship. You're not there to fix them. You're not there to make it all better for them. You're there for yourself to find love and happiness. You don't need to take on anybody else's emotional baggage if they're not willing to get the help and, and, and figure it out for themselves. So I really suggest here that you pay attention on your first date. Try and change the direction of the conversation if you feel it's going into a, in a negative zone. See if you can have some fun with them. Maybe give it another shot after that if they continue to just keep talking about their ex all the time. They're seriously not ready to date. Anyway, there you go. Thanks for tuning in to Do Your Side Pursue today. Please keep your questions coming and please subscribe if you haven't already done so and hit the like button. I appreciate it so much. Thanks everyone. Thanks for tuning in today. Bye-bye.